I took the new um, blog that Antoine, Antoine's been helping me here, whatever. And so you can see this is just a, a basic sh shows a content page and that. So basically created a theme based off of that. And then I created a, let's see, an Angular 9 just came out. So let's go ahead and bring that up here. So this is an Angular 9 application here. And so what I did is I took our basic blog component that was from our Angular component. And then I took the new blog component from Orchard and married them together using GraphQL. And so um, if you want to show us something, you will have to zoom. Yeah, OK. Control, yeah, plus. Sure mm -hmm. Control plus should work on VS Code. Um, this is Control yeah. plus unless you have a Mac or I don't know. That is, yeah, that's better. A little bit more and then perfect. OK, so here's OK. So I, I don't know if you guys are familiar with with Angular, but I can just show you the very first part. OK, so then these are your main files like Angular JS is kind of like all your components, how you set things up like that. And then if you go into the source code here, I have a blog component and I have a blog content component, a GraphQL component. And if you look at this is the main component here, the nav bar component. Um, and so here is the main application. So doing a nav bar and then router outlet is basically which is the content of the Angular. So, so basically it, you have the blog post here. Um, blog con content. So let's go ahead and go to the blog here and looking at here's the the main gist of everything. So here I say for let blog of blog post and I parse through all of that and then do the GraphQL basically with inside there to get all the information. So this is the basic contents of that. And then in the blog content here, I just actually display the whole thing here. So if we go ahead and look at, let's see. Could could we see it running? Would that be possible? That'd yeah. Be really interesting. It's running right here. <laughs> so basically I have just a menu here. So we go back here and oh. Well, it's probably, let me turn it up. Yeah, so let's go down here to the terminal. So, that's not responding. Where is that? Control C. Let me exit that. Do back in here. Okay, and let's go ahead and do you do an ng serve dash o? So it's bringing it up here. So there's the actual blog here. So if we go, um, something's going on right here. Oh, yeah, so this is not running, that's why. So let's make sure that this guy's running. So let's go here. Oh, the server is not running. So you yeah, the server's not I running see. here. It's really so let's... headless. <laughs> so here's the headless part here. If you don't so have the body, start the headless. Guy up. Okay, so now that's running. So we can see the blog through here as well, right? So, okay, from the south. So let's okay. let's go ahead and just add two of them, just to add add one. So let's go into the dashboard here, and let's go to our blog. Say new, and we'll say 
let's see. Well, that's no blog post, so let's go here. Go to the blog. And let's create a new blog post. And this is... blog post um, I know there we go this is a blog post okay then we can actually get an image too here if we want upload one uh, let's do yeah let's do like this one or something and select that hit okay so now this basically is the actual update that Antoine did where you could actually add a picture now, which is kind of nice. And then let's go ahead and publish that. All right, let's bring him over here. And let's see, this is here. So now let's refresh this guy. And so see, we have our blog post. Isn't that cute? <laughs> and click into that. And there's our blog. So it's so Angular using GraphQL and all that. Pretty slick, isn't it? Let me go back to the to the other one and go into that one as well. And that's yeah, that's a different website. Okay. Yeah. It's so an that, Angular website, yeah. static website that goes right. GraphQL. So this is the Angular website here and but you cheated because I'm sure you configured anonymous access to the GraphQL endpoint. Yeah, I, that's yeah, okay. Sir. It's not right. I can show you. It's, do you want me to show you that part? Uh, I'm, oh, well, I assume there is no. Well, what do you want to show? Just. Oh, right, yeah, I, I can show you the, how the interface. You know, if we go to the GraphQL here, um, configurations, is it search? Yeah, queries, all queries. So here's the search, recent blog posts, you know, queries. Those are the standard ones. Um, and then if you go into configuration, GraphQL. Graphical. And then you, graphical, right, exactly. Yeah, so we can yeah, that's the graphic. things there as well. Okay. And if we go back to this guy here, um, here, here's our GraphQL inside of um, the the Angular stuff here. So, you, so you question, question. Okay, what, uh, the template, the blog component HTML. Can you open it? Sure. It's just yeah. So here, line thirty-four, you have SRC and you have localhost colon five zero one. Why do you need that? Okay. Well, that that's just the local host, right? The that I'm running with the with the, ser the local server, right? Yes, but that's the server. F that's the Angular app, or that's the um, well. These are the, the images. Yeah, these are the images. Yeah. Well, but this is the this is the um orchard app. Orchard, yeah, orchard okay. core application can right you, here. Can can you go back on the orchard admin graphical graphical page? And click on blog post, and and check uh, the image where it, banner or whatever it is. What is that? So, um, image and click on path and URLs also. Yeah, and click on URLs and run it. Okay. Top. No, 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 no. Yeah, this one. Yeah, run. I see. So we don't expose the the domain. Okay. Yeah, so that's why we had to, I had to put the domain there. Mm, interesting. Is there a way uh, in Angular? I'm sure that you could define it in a constant somewhere. Oh yeah, can, yeah, sure. Yeah, I, just, this was, I put this together like an hour before. Okay. The, okay, so, so that's so that that can be fixed. Okay, I just yeah, want that, to be sure that we yeah, don't. Yeah, you can refactor the code anytime, right? It just depends on if you have any requirements up front. If you define your requirements, that, that you can do anything. Okay. All right. So, any questions, or is that it? That's good. Thank you. Uh -huh. Michael 
Patterson, do you have questions? Because you love Angular. <laughs> and you love yeah, Angular. Yeah, this is Angular 9, guys. Brand new, just came out last week. 